I am going to begin, as I said, um, action. Beginning this morning, we see details from the congregation and show the, the congregation and show the island, show the Caribbean, and show the diaspora. I'm going to get signatures on seat Bishop Clyde Harvey from office in the that was Father Gerald Paul during Sunday's Holy Mass at the Holy Family Church in River Sally, making the bold declaration to push for the removal of Bishop Clyde Harvey. Father Paul cited what he claims is a lack of effective leadership as the grounds of the petition, plunging the local Catholic community into a state of uncertainty. Father Paul officiated Sunday Mass despite the suspension order he received, which was hand-delivered by a bailiff for the day prior, a move that underscored the gravity of his intentions and the depth of his convictions. Into the light of your face, and I'm listening as we pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, the Diocese of St. George, which encompasses all of Grenada, boasts a significant Catholic population. Any upheaval within the leadership is bound to have far-reaching implications, not only within the church, but also within the wider societal fabric. Despite numerous attempts to solicit a response from Bishop Clyde Harvey, our news desk has been met with silence up until the time of reporting. The silence has left many in the community on edge as they await a response to the latest development. Undeterred by potential backlash, Father Paul vowed to gather support from fellow clergy members across the Caribbean. His determination to challenge Bishop Harvey's leadership has prompted soul-searching among the faithful, with many questioning the current state of affairs within the Diocese of St. George and the broader Catholic community. Trinidadian-born Bishop Clyde Harvey assumed his position in 2017 following the passing of Grenadian Bishop Vincent Darius. He is due to retire in November upon reaching the mandatory age of 75. Nisha Peters, GBN News.